Hi guys, Steph here. So I have two cards to share for Hot Rods Boutique Design Team. Before I get started real quick, I wanted to tell you if I talk funny, it's because I have a jaw injury right now. Um, I'll be okay. I spent the day at the hospital yesterday getting CAT scans and such. And um, I can't open my mouth very wide to talk a lot. Uh, like to, you know, talk clearly sometimes. But um, yeah, I just have some little cracks going on. <laughs> But uh, I'll do a separate video on that. This one's all about uh, my design team cards for Hot Rods Boutique. So I made a scene card and then just a fun card. The scene card is using the Whimsy Art By Me Ran Painter Penny. And she's so cute. I just fell in love with her. And these are the Copic colors that I used. I'm sorry, this is so hard. I feel like I'm drooling because my lips all swollen too. Um, so those are the Copic colors. And it's a very large card. It's 7 inches by 7 inches on white cardstock. And this is the front of the card. As I said, very large. And I just wanted to have fun making kind of like a studio apartment crafty space for a girl kind of thing so here's my image and as you can see this image here I did not use with her but I did use it on the inside which you'll see in a minute um, so I just copic colored her out of glossy accents on her eyes and shoes and a little bit of wink of Stella and I think she came out so cute um, and then I'm, for all my pattern papers, I used my mind's eye cut and paste flare. And then I'm just going to dive in here. Um, I did use some gold and white twine up here, which I don't have next to me. And for the piece here uh, that I replaced, as well as this little palette here, I used Paper Smooch's I Heart Art. And I need that too. And then, this is in a crazy order, so. I used a little enamel dot up here by the chandelier. I didn't grab this. This is a, a Sizzix Hero Art Stamp and Die Set. And I just used some Delicata Gold Ink. Then, my cat is going crazy. Sorry. Um... For the little camera over here. Wow, my kitten's climbing up my leg. For the little camera over here, I used this little Studio Calico set that came in a kit. And then for the paint splatter on the canvas, I used the Ormolu Scraptastic September 2013 kit. And then for the couch back here which you can't see that well I use the stamp and die set paper tray ink on my couch for the flip flops over here in the corner I use the um, paper tray ink a day at the beach and as hopefully you guys can see I used some gray Copics and tried to add depth and shadows so that it would look more dimensional then for the Let's Get Crafty and the I Heart Crafting, I used my Pink Stamper Scrapalicious. They're all scrappy sentiments, which are so fun. Then um, for the chair right here, I used Hero Arts Wish You Were Here. For this little... Um, Crafting is my life. I use these Life's Little Occasion stickers. For the tables here and here, I used Our Craft Lounge Live Laugh Lounge. And I didn't grab this because um, I had these. Uh, these lanterns are from Lawn Fawn. Um, oh, Bright Something. I can't remember the name. I'm sorry. 
For the little computer here, as well as the little coffee mug, I used Sweet Stamp Shop's Mr. Octopus. And then for the arrow on the laptop, I used Paper Smooch's Teen Routine. Um, another one that I forgot to grab, I think, I think I forgot to grab it. Yeah, is this one here. And this is from Technique Tuesday. And it's just a little lamp. Sorry, I tried to remember to grab everything. This little cup of pencils right here is from Market Street Stamps Teacher Notes. The little guitar back here leaning on the books is from Avery L. We Go Together, also available at Hot Rods Boutique, I believe. She has it in stock. I'll have to double check. Um, I also used... Oh, where did it go? I had it before. <laughs> Sorry, I'm underprepared now. This stack of books is from Unity Stamp Company. Um, and this puppy actually is from... I think it's from another Whimsy, the Time for Tea Design stamp, the Walkies, and I just cut it off of that and used just the puppy. And then for the little pencil and paintbrush here, I used this little sticko sticker set called Time for School. And I think that covers the front. I mean, I used a ton of stuff. And I just want it to look fun. And then for the inside, I did more of the pattern papers. And then, now I gotta find it again. <laughs> I'm a hot mess, I know. For the um, palette up here, as well as this big paintbrush, I used the Paper Smooches palette and paintbrush die. And then, as you can see, here is that piece that came with the stamp that I didn't use on the front. And then all of these stamped splatters are from the Hero Arts Brush Stroke set. It's a really big rubber set. And then um, for this little tube of paint, as well as this splatter up here, I used the stickers from Recollections. And then lastly, Do More of What Makes You Happy is a Funny Bone Stamp by Riley and Company. I got this in a rack and I can't remember who I forgot to mark it. Anywho, so that's card number one. And like I said, it's huge, but I had a lot of fun making it. And then card number two is using the Whimsy We Stamp Maya. She's so cute. And these are the Copic colors that I used on her. And this is five and a half by five and a half on some yellow cardstock from Paper Tray Ink, I believe. Or is this Simon Says Stamp? Oh, I have them, you know, kind of organized, but not fully, so. I know it's one or the other. And then here's my image. And I just go up a color to her. I added Wink Estella to the flower. And then some stickles to her wings and the patches on her outfit. And then I die cut her out with the um, Spellbinders oh, Nestability Flower. The Flower Nestabilities three I believe or Dahlia I can't remember the name of it I'm terrible today I know all my pattern paper on here is from Lawn Fawn's Hello Sunshine and then I added um, some washi tapes here from this one here and as you can see this little dotted banner is an Avery L die the dotted dies and then um, this little, oh, yeah, this little piece here is from 
American Crafts Delights and it had a button on it. I took the button off and I put a Lawn Fawn Flare there that says fly away with me. And then down here, these flowers here are little Inka Dinka Doo stamps. This one and this one that I just inked up down there. And then I added some of these uh, Maggie Holmes Crepe Paper Cabochons just to give it a little more dimension and then all of these enamel dots here 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 and here are also available at Hot Rods Boutique um, from Brittany H and then on the inside I just did more pattern paper and then I stamped the same flowers using uh, Hero Arts soft granite ink and then the Believe in Your Dreams is this one here which is one of those Studio G dollar stamps and the reason I used so many of these this time was because I really want to make myself start using more of my wood stamps because I have so many and never use them. And I think it turned out pretty. So those are my two cards and in case you guys haven't seen, go back a video or two and you'll see I had, um, I have a one year anniversary of Hot Rods Boutique giveaway going on. So, um, there's about a week left on it, so hurry up and go check it out. The rules are super easy. And go check out the shop, and uh, I hope you guys like. Thanks for watching. Bye.